So in chapters 15 through 17 of Matthew and the corresponding ones in Mark, Jesus is on the go. He is moving and he is traveling through a number of places. He's crossing borders. Uh, so he's going into Gentile lands and he's coming back to Jewish lands and he's going back to Gentile lands. Um, and, and in this way, it's a little bit different. Remember in Matthew 10, Jesus told his apostles, you don't go to anything but the lost sheep of Israel. But Jesus is not following his own rules here a little bit because he wants to show that all people are a part of his ministry and he's reaching out to all of them. And as he's going along, he's teaching. Um, he's also performing miracles. Um, but because he's on the move, people aren't seeing them, but they're certainly hearing about what Jesus is doing. And in a world where in Galilee, people had a, a lifespan of say, an average of about 20. Um, and uh, the fact that Jesus is coming along and he's offering miracles to help the heal them and to offer sickness. This is spreading and people are wanting to know him. And so they're coming. And when Jesus comes to them, they're asking questions and they're particularly asking, um, can you show me also what you've been showing in, in other places? And so they're asking for a sign. Um, and Jesus responds that signs aren't always going to help them. So with that in, in mind, then Jesus is going to move into another Gentile area and he's going to come to a place called Caesarei Philippi. Now, can I just say, as the master teacher, I believe that Jesus specifically put, um, chose this place to do his teaching. Um, and so if we want to go to uh, Matthew chapter 16, we have Jesus with his disciples there and verse 13. And when Jesus came into the coasts of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, whom do men say that I, the son of man, am? And they said, some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But then he asked the questions, but who do you say that I am? <laughs> 